Hey all, I'm back with another Zigbee device. This time it's a remote control. So what's inside the box? Let's pull it out and we get a manual and we've got this and I guess a mount. So you could like put this on a wall or something so you don't lose it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and it already comes with batteries. So there's a little battery tab here. I think we should pull that out like that. And oh, that's an interesting battery. Uh, what is that? So it comes with a 23A 12 volt alkaline. I've never seen one of these before. Interesting. Okay, so we'll just pop that back in like that and close it. So, okay, so here it is. It is a Zigbee remote. Let's go into uh, Home Assistant and see if we can pair it. Okay, so the instructions say hold the one button down for a few seconds and then it will enter pair mode. Okay, it's in pair mode and we should see it show up in Home Assistant shortly. That would help if I actually enabled uh, permit to join. Okay, so I've allowed Zigbee devices to join and okay, it's found it. All right, it took a few seconds, but there it is. And uh, yeah, it, it's got a picture and everything. And let's see what's exposed. So battery, action. So when we press button one, empty string. Let's see, button was triggered. I don't know, it just says empty string. Hold on, let me hold down. So I think it does report something back. Um, I'd have to see the logs. Okay, so the actions, uh, they do get logged. So if I double tap this, right, I'll see changed one to double. If I hold it, I'll get one to hold. And if I press it once, I'll press one single. So I can use those to get 12 possible combinations out of this. And that's 12 different scenes. So I could basically have this turn on my lights, turn off my lights, or dim my lights or something like that. So I'm gonna go play with this and get it to do something. Okay, so here we are in Home Assistant and I've set up a few automations. Example, this one will play a fireplace on my living room TV. And you can see here, four single action button. Now, I actually had to push every single button on the remote to populate this. If I didn't push every possible combination, not every option was here. So I think that's a limitation of Zigbee to MQTT. I'm, I'm not sure, but that's what I had to do, and it worked fine. And again, I did the same for all the others. So let's take a look and see it in action. Okie dokie, so I've set a few modes. So now if I double tap this, it goes into like a watching TV mode. And if I hold it, it turns off all of the lights. If I press it once, it turns the lights back on. And if I push this button, it plays a video for me. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for the Tuya Scene Remote. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. Overall, I really like it. I might consider getting another one for the bedroom. Uh, it's just nice not having to yell to my assistant every time I want to do something like turn lights on, off, Physical buttons are actually pretty neat. I might have this which my PC inputs at some point. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.